Hello, in this video, I'm going to introduce you another type of uh, uh, question that involving deducing an inverse from the given two matrix, right? So you look at these two matrix. Uh, okay, if you look at these two matrix, we try to take the product, okay? We try to take the product of these two matrix, right? So as you know that, how to do uh, multiply for these two matrix. First, the number of uh, column, the number of row here must be the same as the number of column here. So it means that this is a 3 by 3 matrix. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. So, right, the number of row, uh, number of column here is the same as the number of row here, sorry. So then the product will be a 3 by 3 matrix also. So though I, I show you some uh, multiplication. So you take the row, the row, multiply with uh, the first row, multiply with each of the column here to get the uh, three first three element. So it will be 2, 3, uh, 2, 3 plus with 2 times 1, right? 2 times 1, okay? So and plus with uh, 0 times 4, right? 0 times 4. <coughs> okay, let's draw bigger a bit. So then followed by 2 times with negative 1, 2 times with negative 1, plus with 2 times with 1, plus with 0 times with negative 1, right? Uh, then the next one will be uh, 2 times with negative 1, negative 1, plus with 2 times 1, and plus with 0 times 1, right? 0 times with 1. So, okay, one by one, you have to be patient while you're doing this. So now go for the uh, the second row, all right, for the second row. So three, the second row will be go with every column, okay? So three times three, uh, three times three, you have nine. Okay, I can straight evaluate now. Three times three plus nine, seven times one, all right? Seven times one plus with seven minus with four, four, 16. Right? Followed by 3 times with negative 1, negative 3, 7 times 1 plus 7, negative 4 times negative 1 plus with 4. Okay, for this element here, we go for the second row with the third column. So 3 times negative 1, negative 3, 7, <coughs> negative 4. Right? Okay, now done for the second row. We go for the third row with each of the column. So negative 5 times 3, negative 15, right? Negative 15, negative 1, positive 16, right? Positive 16. We just multiply, right? Then we see what happened, right? Negative 5 times negative 1, we have 5. Negative 1 times 1, you have negative 1, right? Then you have negative 4. Okay, now the third row and the third column, the last one, negative 5 and negative 1, you have 5. Negative 1 and 1, negative 1, plus with 4. Right? Okay, let's evaluate this. So, uh, means that your A, B, you will get a matrix, uh, a matrix, a square matrix. So, if you see that here, you have uh, 6 plus 2, uh, 6 plus 2, you have 8, right? 8. So, negative 2 plus 2, 0. Uh, everything here is 0. Here also will be negative 2 plus 2, you will get 0. Uh, so, 9 plus 7, 16, minus 16, you have 0. And negative 3, uh, uh, negative 3 plus 4, you have 1, right? 1 plus 7, you have 8. Uh, so, negative 3, negative 4, 7 minus 7, we have 0. This one, negative 15, negative 1, negative 16 plus 16, you also have 0. 5 minus 1 minus 4, you have 0. 5 plus 4, 9. 9 minus 1, 8. Ah, can you see the special? Not? Uh, so, the special thing here is the diagonal here. Uh, the diagonal here is having a number but the rest is zero the upper triangle and the lower triangle is an zero so uh, this is very special right 
So it means that your AB, you can rewrite as you factorize out the 8 and you have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? You can factorize the 8, the number out here, right? So 8. So what is this? Right, uh, what is this? This is actually a 3 by 3 identity. It's an identity matrix. Identity matrix for 3 by 3, right? Uh, 3 by 3 identity matrix, right? So it means that I can rewrite this thing as AB equals to 3. Identity matrix is uh, represented by a capital letter I. Uh, this is a very important relationship, you know. So where the AB uh, multiply you're getting an 8i so once you get a product you get 8i or 9i or any number multiplied with i from this uh, relationship here so you can deduce the a inverse and b inverse right you can deduce the a inverse and b inverse so okay let's see how to deduce the a inverse and b inverse means you deduce uh, when you said deduce means you use the find, you use your result. You're using the result to getting the A inverse without doing any uh, method such as elementary row operation or by using adjoint uh, matrix. No, you don't need that because you have already this and you deduce from this. So how? So you have A, B. Uh, this is a very important. You must see what I'm doing here. So equals to A, I. So if you need A inverse, if you want A inverse, so you have to multiply both sides by A inverse. Uh, you multiply both sides by A inverse. Alright, uh, can you see that? I multiply both sides by A inverse. Uh, so you know, and then later you know that A inverse and A, okay, I rewrite A inverse and A, A inverse and A, B, this is a, it is a scalar you can put in front so then the a inverse and the i right so a inverse a or a a inverse okay a inverse a or a product with a inverse you will definitely get that identity right uh, so this is the properties so you have to remember that a inverse and a or a a inverse you were getting i or if an a a matrix multiply with a identity you will get back itself okay the matrix itself means if you see there is an a inverse i ah, if you see there is an a inverse i then you know the outcome will be still a inverse ah, identity is the this mat this i here the, this matrix here is the identity for any matrix all right ah, so now then you see that a a inverse uh, from here, A, A inverse, you will have I, right? I and B. So, A inverse and I, you will get back A inverse, right? Uh, and you see that I and B, you are getting the B itself. Multiply A inverse. Then now you can find the A inverse. A inverse is the same as 1 over 8 of the matrix B. Uh, as simple as that. So it means that your A inverse is the same as 1 over 8 of the matrix B. Okay? Of the matrix B. 3, negative 1, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, 4, negative 1, 1. Alright? Uh, this is the A inverse. So you can later, you can just multiply inside. So how about you want to find a B inverse, right? Okay, I repeat the same process here. So I'm going to erase this. Hmm. So you can also deduce the B inverse. Means that from this relationship, you can deduce A inverse, you can deduce B inverse. Okay, so that's the uh, that's important thing for this question. Alright, so... <clears throat> Alright, let's see how to find the B inverse. Right, how to find the B inverse. So you know that if you want to deduce B inverse, uh, you want to deduce B inverse. So you know that uh, <coughs> AB is the same as 8i, right? Uh, 
You must using this because they've said deduce, right? So you have to use AB equals to 8I. So <coughs> because you want to find, you want to deduce B inverse, so you multiply both sides by B inverse, right? But because of the B is at the back of the product here, means that you shouldn't, you shouldn't write the B inverse here, all right? So you should multiply the B inverse with the B, all right? With the B at the right-hand side. So it means B and B inverse. So you multiply the B inverse here. So at here, you also multiply the B inverse on the right-hand side with the I, all right? Uh, so now you have A, B and B inverse. You are still getting I. So it, I and B inverse, you are getting B inverse. Then A and I, you have A, right? A, B inverse. Uh, then B inverse is also the same as 1 over 8 of A, right? 1 over 8 of A. So which is uh, B inverse is the same as 1 over 8 of the matrix A. So 2, 2, 0, 3, 7, negative 4 negative 5, negative 1, 4. All right? Uh, so without using a joint matrix, without using elementary row operation, because of the special special case here, that when you multiply the AB, you can get an identity, uh, the scalar module identity. With this type of relationship, you can deduce A inverse and B inverse by using the concept of uh, inverse. All right? So that's all for this video. Hope you understand.